I usually say the other way. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. I'm never like, and welcome back to the party, you know? Hello. And Actually, welcome, I'm, or welcome back. <laughs> no, I go like, they go, hello! And welcome, or welcome back to Party Trick Astrology. I'm Nina. I'm Shayna. <laughs> and this is Venus and Gemini. I panicked. I was like, I don't know what you say. <laughs> I just say my name and I say I, hi. It felt weird. I was like, hello? No. <laughs> is this right? Anyways, this is Venus and Gemini. Gemini is the twins. Yes. It's ruled by Mercury. It's an air sign, a mutable sign. It rules the hand. And Venus is basically love and relationships and friendships and the way you express love, what you show, what you're attracted to, what you value, so yeah. what you show off in order to attract what you value. Those, a peacock feather. <laughs> oh yes. If this is the first like video in the series that you're watching, like what the, the hell are you talking about? But you know, we've said it every time. <laughs> Um, We're gonna stick with it. Yeah. And if you are Venus and Gemini, that doesn't necessarily mean you're a Gemini sun sign, but you can, you can be. be. Hmm? But what you can also be, be a. <laughs> we are totally just like. <laughs> it's because it's Gemini. I know. <laughs> but you can be a Cancer, a Taurus, a Aries, or a Leo. There it is. Venus and Gemini. When people think of the stereotype, they think. Let's get straight into the reputation. Cheater. Yeah. <laughs> Cheaters, two timers, wandering eye. Mm. Even if you don't act on, you know. Yeah, you still like, like you're that meme of the person of the guy. Yeah, like yeah. you're the literal meme. Like nothing added. You're just the meme of holding the girl, looking over the. Add the meme right here if you don't know what, <laughs> what we're talking about. Now a lot of people will immediately be like, I'm a Venus in Gemini, and I'm not a cheater. I'm not unfaithful, and I don't think it necessarily means yeah. you're a cheater or you're unfaithful. Like, I'm sure there are so many Venus and Geminis out there that have been faithful or whatever. Yeah. But if you don't cheat, you at least need a change of pace constantly. Right. It's just really more of a matter of you're not 100% um, you're not a cuffing kind of sign, mm -hmm. you know? You're not like a Venus in Cancer who's just like, I just want to find the one and like yeah. fast forward three years into the relationship where we're already comfortable and not shaving anymore. <sighs> that you, is Venus in Gemini's nightmare. Yeah. You guys are just kind of always wondering what yeah. else is out there. Mm -hmm. So you kind of just always have a wandering eye, even if you don't act on it. You're just a very, it's a very social sign. Flirtatious right? sign. Flirtatious. These are the people that like, okay, let's say even if you're like a gay girl, you're still gonna like flirt with guys. Just not because you want anything to do with it. Just because you're like, I flirt with everyone. Honestly, this you is know? like, this is an indicator of bisexuality. I yeah. Think. I think it could be it's definitely. the twins, you know? Yeah. You're yeah. attracted to everyone and it's, it's also more. You want to more... taste a little bit of every. Thing. What? I don't know. <laughs> it's an intellectual sign, so it's not necessarily 100% like right. physical. It's intellectual. It's personality. It's, it's like whoever you can talk to mm -hmm. better. Who stimulates your mind? Mm -hmm. That's when you're going to find someone attractive when if you meet somebody and they're sharing their ideas and they're really passionate about something and they're really smart about something, Venus and Geminis are going to be the kind of people that are like, yes, let me hear all about what you're passionate about. Even if I'm not passionate about it, I can flip flop my way into right. being interested. They can be passionate about it for like the 20 minutes that you're talking about yeah. it and then never think about it again But in those 20 minutes, they're, they're so like, passionate. Tell me about it. So Let into me it. tell you. <laughs> the way that you would know a Venus in Gemini likes you they kind of like everyone, and yeah. they probably don't even know if they like you or not. They're probably it's safe to assume that they do like you. If yeah. you feel like they like you, they probably do like you. Now, if you're thinking, does this person love me? That's, that's a little, that's a little bit more complicated. But does this person like you? If they're flirting with you, if they're talking to you, they'd be down to hang out or hook yeah. up or something. But they're not thinking past that. Whereas a Venus and Pisces might, let's say if a Venus and Pisces and a Venus and Gemini are talking, the Venus and Pisces is like, I quickly love you, blah, blah, blah. Uh, and the Venus and Gemini is like, I quickly like you. Yeah. But Actually, I also like this person. I think the more effort that they put into it is probably the more that they like oh, yeah. you. Because I know a few Venus and Geminis, you guys know who you are, who just blatantly admit to playing games. Mm -hmm. for Because it's like an intellectual This is quite the fuck boy that they, that they like to do, you know? They just, they want to test you. They want to see really where your loyalties lie. They want to see if, you know, they can 
they can have fun with you and you'll still yeah. bounce back, you know? They don't want someone who's gonna get butt hurt too easily or like gonna be too emotional. So they can mm -hmm. see like how far they can stretch the line and it's just fun to them, but. Yeah, like love is fun, but not like love is fun. Like I mean, love is like he 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 fun. <laughs> it's, you know, it's like masters of mischief. It's Mercury and Mercury is like, it literally has devil horns, you know? Yeah. It's it's a mischievous sign uh, or a mischievous plan. So they love playing mind games with people. They love like in the skit, the person's like messaging everyone that they know. They're just like, listen, I want to see someone tonight. Who it is, I don't know, surprise me. Yeah. Who responds first? That's who I'm interested in right now. That kind of situation. And these people think, because it's Mercury, so they think about love, they really do intellectualize it, but they're not like the Virgo side where they're not really analyzing it. Yeah. They're just kind of like all these thoughts are coming at them all the time and it's hard for them to sort them out. I think they're more of like a sex in the city kind of kind of talk they just like talking about it you know mm. where like virgo is gonna like sit down and like have a meeting right. about it make a spreadsheet about it but these people love to gossip about their relationships yeah they just other people's mm -hmm. Ooh, big gossipers love drama channel mm -hmm. like that's why it's sextiles venus and leo you know they both yeah. like the drama of a relationship they both like the story like these are the kind of people to have finstas and post screenshots of their ex's breakup that they text, text over text yeah. right you know, to have receipts of shit and be like, look what this person did, let me show you the receipts and just start drama and they're constantly talking to a bunch of people and they're like, yeah, but like, none of them are committed and they probably get called out a lot for being like, I thought we were a thing and you were like, well, you didn't specify it, so I'm free to do what I want. And that's yeah. why they're considered a lot of times like cheaters and stuff like but that. But you know what, that's kind of the way that um, dating culture works nowadays. It really I feel like is a Venus more, and Gemini is. It's a of, Venus and Gemini kind of game nowadays. Yeah. Really, yeah. <laughs> I think like the more emotional signs, Venus signs have a harder time. Yeah. Uh, I know Venus and Gemini, and she'd always be tweeting about like, fuck this guy, fuck this person. Oh, but I'm gonna hit him up tonight. Kind of situation. Yeah, the, it's the the twins are the ultimate flip floppers. Yeah. Um, which you know like. It is what it is. It's not good or bad that it flips one day, it flops the next day. They're not very, it's a mutable sign. They're not very stuck to any kind of mm -hmm. anything, any kind of idea of what yeah. should be. Um, even if they are quite like um, a romantic sign who might, like a fixed sign like Leo, who can be really stuck to the idea of like, this is what love should be and I do want a family and I do want, you know, a husband and all of that. There is a part of them where it's like, Will I ever be satisfied? Though mm. it's kind of an anxiety. Absolutely, Mercury is a bit anxious. So yeah, that's the thing is I don't think Venus and Gemini is ever fully satisfied because they yeah. want so much and what they want changes like daily almost or by the second or maybe it won't change for a month and then it'll completely flip and you're like I thought I wanted this relationship but all of a sudden I woke up and I don't anymore yeah and I don't know why but it just happened these people will also keep communication with, with their exes yeah. like I know another Venus in Gemini and she's been on an on and off relationship with this person and he did this like huge thing and she still kept communication with him like they are just like well you know what we're not together and like they give me mental stimulation yeah. so why would I stop talking to them just because we're not a thing anymore uh, I like talking to anyone I can and there's somebody I like talking to is kind of like their thought like even if this is a placement that's given to a cancer son um they're still super sociable yeah they are maybe they don't go out as much as other signs do but like they're still going to be part of the friend group around they're still going to go out every now and then like yeah they're going to kind of know everybody in their area i feel like the cancer um venus and gemini are honestly the ones who are going to get into relationships and are going to be the cheaters yeah like it's going to be like the much more straightforward thing yeah because that Cancer wants that relationship yeah. so much, and their Gemini Venus gets bored, and and they're gonna like be in a relationship, but they're still gonna have like all their girlfriends, right? And like the girlfriends are gonna be safe, like oh no, he's in a relationship, you know, nothing's gonna happen, and then like oh no, wow, how did that happen? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know. Plus, these people always want to go out, and so they're always gonna be yeah. meeting new people, and then they're always gonna yeah. find new people that they're interested in, and they're gonna go ooh ooh ooh, ooh and it's kind of very like oh squirrel, like yeah, squirrel, new person. Oh, new person, oh, new person, new person, new person. 
so many ways yeah. to flirt. Um, and it's so like fun and lighthearted. And that's why like relationships aren't necessarily always their cup of tea, like yeah. long term, like steady relationships aren't always their cup of tea. They, they just want stimulation or if they do settle down, it'll be like later in life where they're going to be in open relationships or you know, they're good to um, spice up their long-term relationship with threesome because mm -hmm. like they might not even be bisexual, but they might be like, I don't know, bi-curious or just yeah, like, just don't really care either label. way. Yeah, just like whatever. <laughs> whatever, it's a new experience. Yeah. Let's say your Venus in Gemini has committed aspects and is a committed in a committed house, right? But yeah, you still have this Gemini energy. Because it's mutable, I can find these people saying, okay, I love this person, I want to settle down with them or something. And so what they'll use with their Venus and Gemini is kind of like mutating themselves to be like what the other person wants. Yes. Yeah. Um, if they are somebody who wants a long-term relationship. And I think that uh, that can only last so long yeah. though, and that can get taxing, but as long as the other person lets them have some kind of freedom or it changes or there's something fun about it, then they'll stay. Venus in Gemini isn't somebody who's like, I never want to just hang out with you and watch TV. What they are is they're like, yeah, I'll hang out with you and watch TV on Monday, but on Tuesday <laughs> we're going out, and then on Wednesday we're going to go on a trip, and then on Thursday we'll hang out and go get some food. And you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, they can, variety. They but can variety chill. Is Spice the life. Yes, but it just needs to always change and it doesn't really matter what that change is They're kind of people that I would see being down to doing really anything with their yeah, partner as long as it's just like Different variety, variety, you know, it's yeah, so that's why I think out of all of the opposites Venus and Gemini and Venus and Sagittarius would get along the most because they're both attracted to the intellectual part mm -hmm. and they're both always wanting that constant change up. I think that's exactly the reason why it wouldn't work. Mm -hmm. It's because they, they're just like too scattered, too mutable. There's nothing anchoring them. Oh yeah, they would probably never be in like a full on relationship yeah. with each other, but like it would be a fun thing. Yeah. You know what I mean? Friendship time. It wouldn't be like a, they wouldn't really ever get into conflict in mm -hmm. that way, but it would never be like, we're gonna marry. No. No. <laughs> They really want to have a partner that I think teaches them or they teach a partner yes. about something. Mm -hmm. um, okay, there was an interview with uh, Sofia Vergara. Um, I don't have any idea what her anything is, but um, this interview stood out to me because like my Gemini friend was like, this is exactly like, she just took the words right out of my mouth. Mm -hmm. And I was like, what's the most attractive thing in a man to you, Sofia Vergara. And she was like, I just want someone who's smart. I want him to answer any question mm. that I might have. It's so sexy if I'm just like, hey, where does toilet paper come from? And he has the answer. I'm like, that's so Gemini. So yeah. Venus and Gemini. Yeah. Of like, that's, that's what turns you on. It's just like someone who's so like, casual, easy breezy, smart. You know? <laughs> easy breezy, beautiful, smart. <laughs> Yeah. You need to be careful if you're getting in a relationship with a Venus in Gemini because you can't be somebody that gets jealous easily. Mm -hmm. Like even though Venus and Scorpio and Venus and Gemini don't make an aspect to each other, they just they don't. just wouldn't go because Venus and Gemini's idea of cheating is the exact opposite of Venus and Scorpio. Like Venus and Gemini doesn't consider anything to be cheating unless like they've sat down and they're like, we are in a committed relationship. Yeah. And then they go and actually have sex with the person. Talking to somebody, flirting with somebody, even like probably maybe even going as far as like going on a like date. It's like, well, just explore my options. Yes. Yes. Whereas for Venus, Whereas Venus and Scorpio, Scorpio, it's like you made eye contact with them. Yeah, and how dare you? Yeah, no, Venus and Jonas are like people that are just like anytime they're just like scouting for new yeah. possibilities. I know one Venus and Gemini that's been in long term monogamous relationships actually, and he's had some issues because like he'll still like have a Tinder. Okay, so the thing with like cheating and the Venus in Gemini is that it's not necessarily like your other woman kind of scenario. It's not like, you know, wife and girlfriend and then mistress. Mm -hmm. It's it's like girlfriend and then 
Rando at the club. Right. Rando at the club. Mm -hmm. um, oh, whoops. Friend from long time ago. Mm -hmm. And then, oh, maybe ex-girlfriend here now. But it, it's not like, they're not juggling multiple relationships, really, mm -hmm. because they don't really have that much, they don't have that the much energy to play in one relationship, which is why they're like, <laughs> yeah, they don't have the energy to juggle multiple mm -hmm. serious relationships. So they just like need to let it out, you know? And like, you are you could just be like, why don't you just jerk off? Why don't you just fuck yourself instead? But it's um, a lot of Venus and Gemini is about like the other person. It's about the feeling that they have socializing with someone else, the connection that they have, because you know, Venus and Gemini is the flip flopper. Mm -hmm. So they might find that they don't necessarily have like opinions about any, everything. It, it depends on who they are with, the opinions yeah. that they have. They're not unopinionated, like I would say a Libra might be is a little more like, unopinionated. They're just a variety of opinions that they pick up and put on like hats depending mm -hmm. on who they're around. Which is the opposite of Sagittarius, which is just like, this, this is, is my opinion and this is my life. These people are pretty creative and smart, but they're not like school smart. Like I don't think these are people that do very well in a regular school setting, um, but I see them doing well in like free form kind of uh, more creative places or um, just things without much structure. I think that they'd be really good at like very creative research topics. Right. Like anytime that they're assigned to do a research topic, they're going to do something kind of more out of the box, kind of more new, not just like, I don't know. What do people do research for? Oh my gosh, these people can really sell stuff. Yes, they're big negotiators. Yeah. Like, that's a huge thing because it, it, negotiating has to do with people. Because they can talk with anyone. With, yeah, yeah, yeah. And they enjoy it. Like, they can mm -hmm. be around a kind of slimy person and they can charm their way into yeah. getting what they want. Yeah, and plus they flip-flop and they don't really have full opinions. They may, like, be working at a retail store, hate the retail store, but they'll still sell every yeah. item in there to some random-ass person. Because they're and they're like, well, right here, I can pretend to like it. Here we go. Yeah, and they, yeah, like, yeah. kind of convince themselves that they're like this item and then they'll sell it. They know how to work people really yes. well and that's another scary thing is to where if you're in a committed if they're in a committed relationship they know how to kind work of you work kind of the person you. you they have a general more cheery personality for the most part like I'm not saying always because you have to look at the rest of the chart but I've seen somebody that has a kind of not so like more feminine more soft introverted tones to their chart but their Venus and Gemini always gives them a slight perk yeah yeah you know what I mean so they always have this cheery infectious personality that makes people want to hang around with mm -hmm. them and they can always find something to talk to in the group like if yeah. they're in a group setting they're not going to be the quiet one and no, yeah, they can, gonna kind they of can talk in. for ages yeah. though. No, they can steer the conversation and keep it alive mm -hmm. for hours upon hours upon hours. So these are the people that you want to take to the DMV. You want to take mm -hmm. to Disneyland to wait in Disneyland lines with them. They can just stimulate you for hours on end. Yeah, because their mind is always going. Yeah. People with like Gemini energy, they it's just constant. And so they just can always pick up on a new thing. It's all about what's in the close proximity of the community. So they're like, oh, let's talk about this person. Oh, let's talk about this thing. Oh, let's talk about that. Uh, that's why they're big gossipers and they just like stirring up any kind of social excitement. Mm -hmm. And if they're not really able to be social or have a have a thing with someone, uh, then they can get really lonely really easily. Like that's why they constantly want to have a lot crushes. of people. Yeah. Like they always have like five people they're currently texting. Not always, but like a lot of times. Ideally, they always have a lot of people ready mm -hmm. to contact. And, and if you're like, I'm not like that, and I'm a Venus and Gemini, probably feeling kind of lonely. <laughs> yeah, you're lonely, or you wish that you were yeah. able to have be in constant conversation with people. Maybe your Venus is intercepted. Yeah. And these people don't not care about love and yeah. they don't not think about relationships. Like it's Mercury. They think about relationships. They think about people all the time. And it may not be your typical like dreamy starry eyed idea of love. So you think, oh, Venus and Gemini, that person doesn't really care about love. They don't really want it. But at the end of the day, that's not true. They they yearn for people and, and, and close, relationships so much that that's why they want it from so many people. Yeah, that's why they, they think about it all the time mm -hmm. and talk about it all the time mm -hmm. and um, are just always seeking it. It's totally Sex in the City. Just watch Sex in the City. If you've never seen Sex in the City and you think it's all a bunch of women that are like desperate housewives, no. 
watch Sex in the City, and that's Venus and Gemini. Yeah. You know. <laughs> There's that famous like moment where all the girls are like, you know what, men are so, <laughs> men are hard, men are, and they just all decide like, hey, what if like we were all of each other's soulmates? And then the men could just be like fun, fleeting experiences that come from time to time. And I think that's totally Venus and Gemini. It's like your friends are your soulmates, and those are the ones that you have a true allegiance that's to. That's true. But you, you know, flirt here and there with yeah. uh, romantic relationships from time to time. If yeah. they come in and come out, and yeah. I also think that these are the kind of people that one night, let's just say it was a female, right? And she dates guys, and she's like, man! trash i never did that the next morning she's like oh i'm flirting with a new guy yeah like yeah she's yeah. a flopper they're always it's mutable so it's mutable and it's air and so they like, like to say dramatic statements oh, like yeah. i'm never dating again okay that was our venus and gemini video next up is venus and taurus and that's all yeah so bye, bye.